Welcome back everyone to episode two. Today we're gonna jump right into Premiere. It's gonna be a short video. I'm gonna show you how to import footage and save custom presets for sequences. This is really beginner level stuff, so most of you can just skip ahead to later episodes, but for those of you that are just starting out, this may actually be beneficial for you. So without further ado, let's get right to it. We are going to open up our folder automator that we created in episode one. You can name this whatever makes sense for your project. In this case, I'm just going to create something generic with today's date and select OK. For the sake of this video, I'm going to save this folder to the desktop. I shot on Sony, so all my footage is stored on an SD card. I'm going to plug that in and open it up. I'm going to then navigate to the footage and highlight it all using Command A on an Apple computer. Once selected, I'll drag that into the footage folder. For my workflow, I'm going to rename the footage. You can rename the footage directly in the finder by selecting all right clicking and scrolling down to rename. Make sure the left dropdown is selected to add text and the right dropdown is before name. If you copy the root folder name, you can simply paste this into the dialog box. Now that the footage is organized, go ahead and open Premiere Pro. Select new project. Copy the original text into the name dialog box or rename according to your workflow. Select browse and navigate to the folder we just created. Go to Project Files and select Premiere. Hit Choose. Keep everything under the General tab as is and hit OK. If you don't see the project window when Premiere opens, navigate to the top menu bar and select Window, Projects, Your Project. From there, you can simply double click in the window that reads Import Media to Start. Navigate to your footage folder and select Import. Another way to import footage is to navigate to your Finder window and simply drag and drop the footage in the folder. XML files will not be loaded. Hit OK and ignore that message. Your footage will be displayed in the project window. To create a sequence, you have the option to drag the footage into the empty timeline. This is not my preferred method, as that sequence now takes on the settings of my footage. In this case, I was shooting in 59.94 frames per second, but my preference is to edit with the same sequence that I plan to export. I'm going to undo the last move using Command-Z and show you how I typically create sequences. Navigate to the paper icon in the bottom right of the project window. Select the icon and scroll up to Sequence. A dialog box will appear with options for sequence settings. To create a custom preset, navigate to the Settings tab. Select Custom in the Editing Mode drop-down. 23.976 frames per second, 1920 by 1080, square pixels, Progressive scan, 23.976 FPS for time code, 48,000 Hz is fine, audio samples, iframe only MPEG. Go ahead and click Save Preset. Name it Custom 1080p 23.976. Leave a description if you want. Select OK. Your custom sequence will now be displayed in your sequence presets. Make sure it's selected and rename the sequence according to your workflow. Hit OK. To create a folder, right click and select new bin, call it sequences and drop in your newly created sequence. You can also select the folder icon in the bottom right of the project window. You can now drag and drop your footage into the sequence. Make sure to keep existing settings when prompted. This will maintain the 23.976 frame rate and all the other settings we customized in the preset. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're getting some value out of this. If you are, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna get more advanced as these episodes get further on. I'm also gonna be posting other videos to this channel, just fun, interesting, creative stuff, bringing as much value as possible. So stay tuned for that. See you next time.